Hey, Stephen, this is Adam over here at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield, Kentucky. I was going to go ahead and grab you this video of the 22 GMC Sierra 2500 AT4. Um, this is really sharp. Obviously, I traded for it myself. I'm pretty familiar with the truck. Uh, really good condition. The guy was out of Clarksville, Tennessee. He had had an F250 uh, Lariat, I believe it was. And he had this one. He just missed having the Ford, to be honest with you. He's one of those guys. Personally, I'm a GM guy. I was a service rider at a GM dealership for like six years before I came here. So I was more than happy to put him into something else and take this truck from him. So uh, again, we're not commission-based guys here. We try to be a lot different than other dealers. I won't push or try to sell you on much at all. I just offer you good customer service and answer questions. We'll dive in. Uh, just so you're aware though, the vehicle at 34,000 and some change on the cluster, it does qualify for a factory type protection that extends your bumper to bumper coverage and uh, powertrain to 120,000 miles. Anything other than wear and tear, cosmetics and uh, emissions is taken care of with no deductible. You can take it to any certified shop or dealership nationwide. Um, and uh, again, parts and labor coverage, all tech, electronics, engine, transmission, AC, even the turbo, um, anything really, again, other than those few things. So diving in, tires on this one here are new, look great. Uh, wheels, I'm not noticing scuffs, anything like that as far as damage to that uh, system. All of them show to be in really good condition. Coming down the side, just trying to use some angles in the light reflection, looking for door dings and shopping cart marks, not noticing any of those things at all, which is fantastic. Um, looking at the mirror, there's a slight rub. It's not actually even anything you really feel. Uh, but it is there. I, I saw that. That's really, I think, about the only thing on the exterior. Uh, does have the passive entry. The keys are in my pocket. I can lock and unlock the doors. Does have the power running boards that drop down as well for easier access. And then, of course, close the doors and they rise back up, giving you greater clearance. Truck is sharp. Coming across the back end, this one does not show any dings really on that tailgate which is great a lot of these big trucks they get a, a bolt or something will hit them eventually has one touch-up spot right there on the tailgate bed in it looks fantastic does have the multi-function tailgate with it top button clears the top piece allows you a workstation you can write and everything else does have this as well in case you are to go ahead and do the full closure it's pretty lightweight it's easy enough to do one-handed gives you that bed extension type option right there as well so very practical i really like that does have your 12 uh, i'm sorry 120 volt ac plug <clears throat> does have the lights here in the bed as well trying to get a good shot of that Coming around the passenger side, again, just looking for dings, dents, any imperfections. Not really noticing anything there to report, which is, again, always my goal, of course. Not something I get to say on every vehicle. Does have really good setup, everything there. I'm not seeing any corrosion, rust, anything like that. Again, it's not been up north anything like that that we're seeing on the Carfax. Nope, that one wiped off. Coming across the front, here's where it's most common. We get rock chips, uh, just things that happen to every vehicle over time on the road. The black color does fantastic covering a lot of those spots. I'm kind of touching it here to see if I feel anything. Just trying to be transparent. I mean, maybe there's a tiny spot right there, yeah. Again, I'm a couple inches away to show that to you. Chrome looks great. Headlamps are clear. Fog lamps are clear. No condensation. I really like the red hooks kind of matching up with some of the badging and the chrome trim. Hopping inside. Seats look fantastic. Does have the cup holders there. Also has the storage underneath. Two things. Uh, for the interior, I can kind of get a good shot here, I believe. There is a tiny, well, if I can get over there, right there, just above the handle, there's a tiny little divot. Uh, and then there's a spot here on the side of that passenger seat. That's definitely something, though, that if you're patient for delivery, I can get that addressed. 
Uh, honestly, I had not noticed that until I got out here with it. So when I saw it, I'm obviously gonna try to point that out. It does have the nice uh, liners in it. You can take the carpet portions off, keep them as a rubber mat. <clears throat> On the interior up front, here's where the warranty that we offer does have some extra value. Power options, everything's covered. So power mirrors, power windows, door locks, memory seats, power seat switches, any of that stuff there is taken care of for you. Again, no deductible nationwide coverage. Does have the push button start. Close this door here. Just showing proper operation for windows. Does not have the sunroof in it. Other than that, I mean, it's honestly pretty loaded up, of course. Does have all of your heated steering wheel, uh, cruise control settings, Bluetooth settings, your navigation here for the center stack, or I'm sorry, for the uh, center cluster options, all right there. <clears throat> this one here has been uh, fully serviced and inspected, of course. Obviously, we'll fill it up with fuel for you. Everything's looking right. Tire pressures, brake life, oil filter, everything there is looking good. Has full wheel drive switch, tow haul, all that stuff, electric parking brake on this side. Center cluster, good size on that. Does have a lot of features, so it does have like the OnStar turn by turn navigation. Home screen allows you to access Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Those are big questions with most customers. Does have the Wi Fi hotspot, that's another big thing does have uh whoops, does have the trailering with it as well which is really nice allows you to do all your checks on your lighting and stuff prior to hitting it into drive coming across it's got the climate controls now on the touch screen on these newer ones which is great um you can see here for example you can change your heat settings ac uh literally everything right there at the touch of a button also it does have a couple really cool things one big one to me is the gmc app uh, that's something you're probably already familiar with possibly, but I like it. I'm kind of a cheap guy. So, uh, this here, anytime you get a service appointment, it'll log it by your VIN number. You can access your GMC points, uh, for accessories and all other things there, uh, in the GM shop. Also just using it as coupons for future service work or repairs. Coming down, you've got your heated seats, uh, driver and passenger. You've also got your ventilated seats. It's too cold for that one, but it does work. It's got a uh, different plug control for the rear. Got the running board option here where you can plug them up, plug them down however you would like. Nice center console. That's one thing I really like on these. The GMCs are very comfortable. Looks to be in great condition. Down lower, you've got some charging ports, some really deep storage. And then of course, uh, of course with GM, you get the dual glove boxes, which are fantastic as well. Um, not having any smells, uh, odors, anything like that. Windshield looks great. A little dusty. That's just the weather we've gotten here. No issues on the dash. Um, anything else, if you have questions, uh, again, I know I sent a lot of photos. I'll get this video uploaded and get it to you too, just for closer review. But if I missed anything that you're curious about or if you have questions, just hit me up. Definitely look forward to working with you. Thanks, Stephen.